हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल पब्लिक क्लाउड डिजाइन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स इन दिस चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पब्लिक क्लाउड डिजाइन प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड देयर रिलेटेड सॉल्यूशन वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द सर्विसेज व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस सॉल्यूशन एंड देयर फंडामेंटल बिहेवियर we will cover amazon web services and microsoft azure as public cloud vendors in our channel so today's problem statement how to create and maintain sensitive data in cloud for an enterprise so what is sensitive data a sensitive data can be secrets can be api keys can be user credential or server credentials certificates cryptographic keys so the solution which has been provided by amazon web services is amazon secret manager and kms and the solution which has been provided by microsoft azure is azure key vault and azure dedicated hsm we will be discussing about azure key vault in this lesson so what is azure key vault so an azure key vault is a cloud service that provides a secure store for secrets you can securely store your keys passwords certificates inside your azure key vault when you are creating the azure key vault there are two types of containers you can create one is vault type key vault and another is managed hardware security module hsm pools which is a new feature which has launched two weeks back so with vault type key vault you can store keys you can store secrets you can store certificates but with managed hsm pools you can only store hsm backed keys so let's try to understand the difference between vaults and managed hsm so vaults is low in cost easy to deploy and multi tenant when we say multi tenant that means microsoft is using the same infrastructure across their multiple clients in that case the azure key vault is using the same infrastructure which has been used by multiple other client so it is also zone resilient highly available key management solution let's come try to understand managed hsm so before that let's try to understand what is hsm a hsm is a physical device that provides an extra security for your sensitive data and hsm generally used to provision cryptographic keys for critical functions such as encryptions decryptions and authentication for the use of application identities so to avail this functionality azure key vault has the new feature known as managed hsm pool so with managed hsm pool it is single tenant that means the infrastructure is going to be only shared with the both single tenant it is zone resilient it is highly available to store and manage your cryptographic keys and customer centric isolations and managed service that customer only can access and manage now let's try to understand uh, azure key vault cryptographic keys so key protection methods there are two types of key protection methods that vault supports one is software protected another is hsm protected when we say software protected that means the cryptographic operations are done over the compute system like your virtual machines or your compute services but hsm protected means your cryptographic operations like Uh, uh encryption decryption and validation are done over your hsm module so it will not go outside your hsm module so with managed hsm hsm is quite protected and highly secure and to distinguish the vault type and key vault uh, managed hsm type if you check the fqda then you'll find the url for the vault is vault.azure.net and for hsm managed hsm it is managed hsm.azure.net now let's try to understand uh why to use managed hsm so a managed hsm means uh, the first feature is fully managed highly available single tenant hsm as a service when we say fully managed that means the provisioning of hsm configuration patching and maintenance everything is done by the azure services so you do not have to worry about it and when we talk about highly available and zone resilient that means each hsm cluster consists of multiple hsm partitions that span across at least two availability zones if the hardware fails 
the member of the partitions of your HSM cluster will be automatically migrated to the healthy nodes. This is how the failover happens. And as we understood, it is single tenant that is very specific to your organization. Now, the next part, we will try to understand access control, enhanced data protection and compliancy. When we say access control, with airbag role based access control, you can control your access to key vault. Even from the keyword level and also in the key level also you can manage your access. When we are talking about the enhanced data protection that can be achieved by private endpoints that can be achieved by managed identity and service principle concept. We will be discussing about this feature the data protection part and the connectivity part in our next video. So let's try to focus here to understand the compliance part. So the compliance part is you can enable the monitoring and audit for your key vault and also the data resiliency that also can be enabled. Now the most important part you can enable your encryption or data at rest you want to encrypt your data with your past services like Azure storage Azure SQL and other services past services that can be integrated with Azure key vault managed HSM. This is one of the a uh, beautiful feature I would say where you can encrypt your data with HSM uh, kind of protection which is highly secure. Then use the same API and management interface as key vault like uh, the, the, the interface that you are using to interact with Azure key vault type also can be used for interaction with managed HSM type. And the last one import your keys from your on-premise HSM. So you can generate your key at on-premise and or you in within your organization and you can import it in your Azure uh, HSM uh, managed HSM section and you can use it. So to make it much more secure. Then the best practices. So from the best practices, we will start with control access to your managed HSM. So as, as I said already, with airbag, you can control your access to your HSM uh, and best practices says you can create your Azure Active Directory security group for your HSM uh, administrator instead of assigning administrator role to an individual it's better to assign it to a security group and this will prevent administration lockout in case of individual account deletion. So if somebody has been deleted then you have someone else in that particular group who can help you out. Then lockdown access to your management groups, subscription, resource group and managed HSM and also create per key role assignment using RBAC. Also, you can also do a maintain a separation of duties, avoiding assigning multiple roles to the same principal. Now, choosing the re region that supports Azure uh, availability zone. That means when you are talking about HSM, you need to validate whether the HSM feature of um, Azure Key Vault, managed HSM feature of um, uh, Azure Key Vault is getting supported in that particular availability zone or not. If not, then you have to skip it. You have to make sure you take regular backup you have to make sure you turn on your uh, logging and alerting so that you can keep your eyes open for the interactions which has been going on with your Azure Keyboard Managed HSM. Enable recovery options. Use your own key from your on-premise that is BYOK. I am going to explain about it now. So let's try to understand what is bring your own key. As per this diagram, you can create your own key in your on-premise system and then you can copy it to your HSM in your Azure Key Vault and while copying it to Azure Key Vault even Microsoft people also cannot view it. That is the level of security they are providing. And then with authorization you with uh, Azure AD integration you can access your Azure Key Vault with private endpoint and uh, you know to make the uh, connectivity secure. And after that you can uh, uh, the Azure Key Vault HSM provide the scalability or you know the disaster recovery with the uh, with the availability zone concept and you can access your uh, HSM keys securely. With this you can bring your own key to Azure. Then let's try to understand the limitations. So the number of HSM instance per subscription is one so you cannot create more than one uh, HSM pool inside your subscription per region. And these are all information like you know key limitations and number of uh, versions per key these are all informations are there you can just go through it and then the pricing part is the important part you when you are creating Azure key vault a uh, vault type that time you have to pay per secret operation the number of transaction you are doing based on that you have to pay for certificate operations and also the storage account operations key rotation you have to pay 
the same applies with software uh, protected keys you have to pay always per per transactions like for 10 uh, 10000 transaction you have to pay 0.03 uh, dollar which is quite less now pricing for hsm protected keys you have to pay per transaction along with that you also have to pay per number of keys so if you have 250 keys you have to pay 5 euro you have to pay 5 euro per key and if you have uh, you know 4000 plus keys then you have to pay you have to pay 0.40 dollar per key per month and uh, also 0.15 per 10000 transactions so the more you uses the more you use the more you have number of keys the less you have to pay you also have to pay the hourly charges per hsm cluster so you have to pay 4.85 dollar per standard b1 type with this uh, we understood the basic behavior of azure uh, key vault uh, managed hsm feature i have covered all this information from this documents i have shared this documents uh, this urls in our video description if you like it don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and share this video so and also thanks for listening thanks a lot